Good afternoon, everyone. Coach Anastasia here. I coach uh, triathlon, open water swimming, trail running, also a yoga teacher and healer. And today I'm going to show you a strength workout using the physio ball for the abs. So we're going to begin on the back. Physio ball on the belly. And we'll start with the right hand behind the head, left hand on the center of the ball. And I'm going to roll the ball up my right leg. Once I've rolled it towards the knee, lift the foot and press the hand and the knee towards each other. And we can hold here for a moment as we're gauging through the whole core and also working obliques. Exhale, roll down and repeat. Inhale, contract the core. Exhale, roll the ball up the opposite thigh, lifting the foot, press the hand and knee towards each other through the ball and come down. So this is a fairly easy exercise, but when you actually add this pressure on the physio ball of the arm and the knee, you really feel all the core muscles engaging. So I would recommend eight to 10 per side. Or if you have time, you could even do 15 to 20. This isn't too hard of an exercise, and it is a nice warm-up one for the core. I'm just giving you the opposite side view, trying to get the shoulder blades off of the mat as we roll the upper body up. Suspending the opposite foot and then pressing the hand and knee together. I'll do one more on this side. So however many reps you choose to do, try to make it even and coming down. Now we're going to get to a little bit more of a challenging exercise. This one is called dead bug. We're going to take a reverse tabletop position with the body. So suspend the legs in the air, knees bent, and then bring your elbows to the ball, elbows parallel with the shoulders. Hands can come together or stay apart as you wish. Inhale, bring the lower back flat to the floor. Then exhale, press your knees and elbows towards each other. So you're going to want to hold this contraction. 20 seconds to start, maybe 30 seconds. And see if you can build up to a minute. And I would recommend three to four repeats. And you see I'm shaking here. Shaking is a great sign through the core, telling us that we're building new muscle. And after your minimum 20 seconds, take a break. And then you would repeat. Moving on from here, we'll come up and into a balancing pose on our sit bones with the ball between the ankles. <clears throat> Pressing the legs together, finding our balance, and then turning the ball Again, working through our lower abdominals and our obliques, getting also toning through the legs with this exercise and great for our balance. If we want to increase the difficulty, raise your arms up beside the head with the same motion through the legs. And releasing down. That one I almost feel like I'm steering a steering wheel with my feet. Coming back down onto the ground, we'll take the ball again between the legs and press in so we are still toning the legs. We're going to trace the alphabet with uh, our legs. If you have any discomfort in the low back, please protect your low back by taking your hands under your glute muscles and leaving them there through the exercise. Pull the belly in first and then you can begin. And you can spell any word you like. I'm just starting with the alphabet here. I'm doing capital letters today. Definitely change it up for lowercase or mix it up. This is a great exercise because we really get movement from just above the floor to 90 degrees in the legs.
And I'll show you one more exercise for today. Coming up. And we're going to use the ball under the feet in a push-up position. Turning the hands out, just a reminder, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, when we've got weight on our hands to protect the wrist, we want to take the weight out to our radius muscle. Or is it the ulna? I feel like I'm mixing it up today. Anyway, our outer forearm muscle. Turn those hands out. We're much better, we can offer much better support that way and then come to a push-up position and from here we're going to inhale the knees into the chest exhale extend you can reverse the breath to exhale as you come in sometimes that feels better and inhale extend we're working no matter what position we're in with this exercise and this is a more challenging exercise so lower reps maybe six, eight, or 10. If this is going well for you, you could also increase to a pike position where we're gonna bring the hips over the shoulders, come back to push up, lifting again from the hips, back to push up position. Again, a low amount of reps because this is a very challenging move. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have a moment, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up for this video and others. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have a lovely day.